A new study by the CDC has found that unvaccinated people with a previous COVID infection were more than five times more likely to be reinfected with COVID than those who are vaccinated. Jeremy Toms talked to a Lexington doctor about the fi findings. The CDC's latest report focuses on early protection from infection-induced and vaccine-induced immunity, according to its authors. And what it has found was expected by Lexington emergency physician, Dr. Ryan Stanton. We're not surprised because we've been talking about the fact that the vaccine immunity was going to be better than natural immunity, natural immunity since when the vaccine came out. The study had a large sample size comprising hospitalized people from nine states. It found that those who had COVID previously but were unvaccinated were five times more likely to get reinfected than vaccinated people. Why roll the dice with what nature's going to throw at you with the risk of long COVID complications and death? when we have the vaccine that has some risk, but very, very small and minuscule compared to the virus itself. Stanton says you shouldn't put too much value into natural immunity. Just got good short-term protection, um, especially if we're staying within the same variant, but we don't know exactly how long it's gonna last. Each person's response is a little bit different. People with very mild symptoms or minimal symptoms may have little to no immune response. The study also found the benefits of vaccination appear greater among those who got Moderna than Pfizer. I wouldn't hold off. If you have a choice, you can make a choice. I mean, if there's multiple options that are available to you, but if not, get the one that's available to you because don't let don't let perfect get in the way of good. Ultimately, Dr. Stanton says the study drives home the message coming from those in health care. Get the vaccine, protect yourself, but more importantly, protect those that are around you, especially those that are higher risk. That's all we're asking. Jeremy Toms for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. Another finding from the study was that protection from the vaccine trended higher for those ages 65 and older.